Using the right full body tracking can be very overwhelming. How do you decide between the 3.0 trackers and the Vive Ultimate tracker? Today we'll break down the key features and differences so that you can find the right fit for your setup. Which one? Oh, he wants wireless VR. He sniffed it. He knows what he wants. Full body tracking uses sensors to capture the movements of your entire body. This body movement then translates into virtual space. It's one of the coolest ways you can experience immersion in VR and in gaming. The great part about the Vive trackers is that they go beyond just gaming. We've had companies and individuals use them in many different ways, like object tracking, sports training, simulations, VTubing, and so much more. Being able to track anything in a 3D space and utilize that in a creative way opens the door to a ton of possibilities. Let's take a look at two of the trackers we sell and learn the differences so that you know which one to buy. The Tracker 3.0s use a tracking system called Outside In Tracking, meaning external sensors provide the positional data. Base stations use infrared light to create a defined play space and understand the tracker's position. The first base stations we made were the 1.0s where you can have up to two base stations total. Our newest is the Vive Base Station 2.0 where you can have up to four of them and create a play space of about 32 feet by 32 feet. Since the base stations rely on seeing the trackers directly, multiple base stations are going to give you the most accurate movement in VR. This is why we recommend using 2.0 base stations to capture high quality and accurate movement. Tracker 3.0s need base stations in order to work. They work with both 1.0 and 2.0 base stations, but for the best tracking, four 2.0 base stations is your best choice. Let's look at the key features of Tracker 3.0. The 3.0s are designed to be small and lightweight, which is great for tracking objects and your body without being too cumbersome. They also have high precision, offering sub-millimeter accuracy to ensure smooth and responsive movement in your virtual space. The low latency also helps create minimal delay between your physical movement and how your VR movement responds. This is critical for professionals that use motion capture applications. With the 3.0s, multiple trackers are supported, depending on your use case, meaning it really comes down to the gamer application's limits. For example, VRChat allows a total of eight trackers at a time with 11 points of tracking, your controllers and VR headset being the other three. Game engines like Unreal are capable of handling a large amount of trackers at once. The Steam VR tracking system can support up to 16 track devices, which includes controllers and headsets in addition to the trackers. The VR community loves mixing and matching hardware, and one of their favorite features of the 3.0s is the wide compatibility. The 3.0s can be used with any headset that utilizes base station tracking connected to Steam VR, which is the application you run on Steam before launching a VR game. Next is the long battery life. The 3.0s have about 7.5 hour battery life, which is amazing and allows for long VR sessions. And of course, the 3.0s are great for integration with custom VR tools. This allows VR developers to integrate the trackers into custom applications and experiences. One thing to keep in mind with the 3.0s is that they do come with three dongles and three USB cables. These will need to be plugged into your PC, preferably a 3.0 or blue USB slot. Next, let's take a look at the Vive Ultimate Trackers. The key difference between 3.0 trackers and the Ultimate Trackers is their tracking method. The Ultimate Trackers are inside-out trackers versus outside-in meaning the tracker does not use the base stations we talked about earlier, but it uses cameras on the tracker itself to read the environment around it. The Vive Ultimate Tracker uses six DOF tracking, which means six degrees of freedom. This means that the trackers can see the world and can understand where it is in space. The onboard CPU helps calculate its position and does a lot of heavy lifting. This allows for high precision tracking, only this time without external sensors. This tracker was specifically designed not to replace the 3.0s, but to help fulfill a need in the rapidly developing standalone headset market. These are headsets that do not use base station tracking, which are growing in popularity. For example, the Ultimate trackers allow a product like the Vive XR Elite, which is our standalone VR headset, to acquire full body tracking. The Ultimate trackers can also be used for PC VR supported third party headsets like the Quest 2 and 3. You will need to be connected to your PC in order to use the Ultimate trackers with your third party headsets, whereas with the XR Elite, you won't need your PC for the Ultimate Trackers to work. This makes the XR Elite and the Ultimate Trackers the best combo for getting full body tracking on the go with games like VR Chat. You'll no longer need a dedicated space for your VR setup. Just like your standalone headset can travel with you, so can your Ultimate Trackers. Additionally, you can have up to five Ultimate Trackers with one dongle. This makes the setup a lot easier to manage. Standalone VR users are always looking for full body tracking solutions to maintain their wireless setup 
and achieve that immersion at the same time. The whole appeal to the VR market has been the ability to customize and mix products together. That is what makes the Vive Ultimate Tracker so special. They help bridge the gap for headsets that are not using base station tracking that are able to connect to your PC. One of the best parts about the Ultimate Trackers is that their battery life is seven hours, very close to the 3.0 tracker battery life. They also have pogo pins, allowing for many different use cases like data transfer and power supply, meaning they can also work for object tracking in custom VR applications. So the big question is, is which tracker should you choose? When it comes to deciding between the Vive 3.0 trackers and the Ultimate trackers, what you're really deciding is, do I want outside-in tracking, which again is for the 3.0s, or inside-out tracking, which is for the Ultimate trackers? Let's break it down. If you already own a base station setup, then Tracker 3.0 will be the best choice and fit right in. You also won't be required to create any new map setup or space alignment when you have your existing base station environment, which is super convenient. If you only have a standalone headset that can connect to your PC, then the Ultimate Tracker will be your choice. If you already have a Vive standalone headset like the XRE or Focus 3, the Ultimate Tracker will be the best fit. And if you have both setups like I do, both trackers will be enjoyable to try out. Choose your tracker based on your setup, how mobile you want to be, and how many trackers you need. Either way, adding these into your VR setup will bring immersion to the next level. My favorite combo is using the Vive XR Elite and the Vive Ultimate trackers so I can play VR chat on the go. This is currently the best way to play VR chat with full body tracking without needing a PC, which is extremely powerful. Hopefully this gives you a good amount of information on where to start. If you have questions about your particular use case, make sure to leave a comment below so we can help you out. If you want to dive into even more ways the Vive Ultimate trackers can help you, check out this use cases video I made to help you understand even more ways you might be able to use this tracker.